Hey guys, welcome back to the Rusty Beauty's garage. So now that this girl is out of the garage, we have room for another car. And like I said, I'm gonna bring a GT6 home, right? Didn't I promise? So I kept my promise. Here she is. <laughs> you don't see well? The sun is blinding you? I know, I do that on purpose. Okay, so. As you can see, that's not my GT6. Well, my GT6, unfortunately, is gonna have to wait a little bit longer because this Rusty Beauty belongs to a friend and he needs my help with restoring her. So we're gonna do what we can do for him, like not a complete restoration, but I'm gonna have to do some metal work. Like, you, we're gonna go through it and you're gonna see uh, what it needs, but yeah unfortunately my gt6 is gonna have to wait just a little bit longer before she comes home so as you can see she's a mark one i'm not sure what year it is i didn't ask i have to look it up and see what year it is but uh, as far as i know the story she came from germany she was originally in germany and there was a canadian guy living in germany for a long time and then we, when he came back home, he brought her with him. That's how she ended up in Canada. She is a beauty, like she needs a lot of work, but we are gonna do it. No problem, that's why we're here for. So let me show you a little bit more about her. So let's start uh from outside of course so as you can see here this wheel arch has been restored <laughs> this is not rust bubbling from inside this is actually uh, fiberglass or some kind of a body filler uh, so i'm expecting a lot of problems here when i put my finger inside this whole thing is filled up with fiberglass or something so here I'm expecting to see a lot of problems. Here you can see this gap configuration is really bad. I don't know if the bonnet can go a little bit lower or what. Like we're gonna, we're gonna need to adjust before we take it apart. I want to try and adjust everything and see if we can do it and then go from there or what can't be adjusted, then we're gonna have to modify it obviously. So here I can see a huge gap under the door. I don't know, maybe the seals have been replaced and haven't been put correctly. The door, the bottom of the door is really bad, like I can see. There has been some damage there on the wheel arch. So, I don't know if that's... Uh, I'm gonna show you something else on the back too, so I don't know if the two damages are related, but we will see. It's been an accident here, so the whole valance has been pushed in. So we're gonna see if we can pull this out and if the whole valance is actually savable. I hope so. There's rust all over the place, of course. I hope it is surface rust, not too deep. Mm. But I think when it was hit here, maybe that caused that damage as well. And also what I noticed here, is I have the feeling that the whole valance is pushed down because now we have a big gap here and you no, know, we don't have a big gap here so maybe we can adjust that and look here the bumper pushed in and here the same thing the bumper pushed in the valance so these are things that we're gonna have to look this wheel arch doesn't look too bad so oh actually it's in a pretty good shape inside so this is something that we don't need to work a lot on hopefully it's a good thing here this door looks better the door gap and everything actually looks pretty good even though when you open the door it hangs down so needs to be adjusted it's a little bit low here 
uh, this side it's not that bad the gap is still a little bit too big on the front on the this gap this gap is a little bit too big but again i think the seals have been replaced here because also if you can see here there's a join on the seal which normally there there isn't a join there it's one piece from there to there so it looks like this part has been has been replaced which is a little bit scary because I don't know what has been done here, if it is done correctly or not. We will see. And this wheel arch is... Oh, this one is pretty good. I mean, there's no body filler inside, which is a good sign. There's, of course, holes here, but this we can fix. Uh, the front... Here, it doesn't look too bad. The paint is peeling, but... That's fine. Oops. Where was it? There. I didn't touch it. Um, yeah. The bonnet has few issues now. On this light you can't see it, but it's been pressed here and here. So that's gonna be tricky. We want it nice and flat, but I can see a little bit here. You can feel it. Here, if you remember, my GT6 had a lot of problems here, but hopefully this one is in a better shape. We will see here the windshield frame and everything. So that's it. Let's look under the bonnet. Inside, this doesn't look way too bad. I mean, there's a little bit of body filler here. So I don't know, but this doesn't look way too bad i don't know what this but we will see but the other side is really bad so you can see here all this is fiberglass all this here here and this so I can only imagine what's underneath that, <laughs> like even the outside. So I'm assuming this whole thing is fiberglass. You can even see the fibers here, I think. Anyway, so we might need to replace this whole wing or at least the wheel arch. We will see about that. Uh, here the body, yeah. Clearly it has been, this has been replaced, the seal, and this one is, doesn't have the cut, so it's all the way to the back, but from what I can see, it wasn't welded, it was just um, riveted there, which is a good thing, because we can drill out the rivets, hopefully. How about the bottom? Yeah, I think it's held only by rivets, which, which is a good thing can take out the rivet and push it, position it where we want it and that's it the engine sounds really good my friend doesn't need engine work done by me anyways it has a little bit of a it has a leak like all this is oily and greasy so I don't know but again we are not doing engine work we are doing the body work here, all oh, this is fiberglass again. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so that's how the repairs are done on the fender as well. But that's a good thing actually, because we can just peel off whatever has been done and we don't need to cut. It's not welded there, right? Oh, look at that. I haven't noticed that. Let's look at it. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about fiberglass so that's how the bonnet is held by fiberglass okay well that's not too bad we can fix all that we can fix it and let's look inside so okay 
So for the interior, my friend is gonna take his seats and he's gonna take them to upholster. He knows a guy who does a really good upholstery. So they're gonna upholster them for him. Or maybe he said actually not these seats. He has a uh, high back seats for that for this car. So he's gonna send these to be reupholstered. But here, let's see. No fiberglass, but <laughs> there is some weight reduction here. But I don't know. We will see if we can save these floors, if we can patch them or if we need to replace them, because if we need to replace them, it's gonna be a big deal. Anyways, let's see how this sewage helps. Yeah, rivets, rivets all over. So that's not the way to do it, but I'm happy they did it because it's gonna be easier for me to take it apart and put it in the right place because this seal is totally out of place, you see? The doors, the doors underneath are really bad too. Like, well, this one is not too bad, even though there's some fiberglass here. But the other one, I think it's much worse. And something has been done here. So I hope it's just a scratch. It's not rust. We will see. But in the worst case scenario, my friend has another set of doors. So between the two sets, we hope that we can do something. Let's see this door. <clears throat> oh, actually this one is not too bad too. So we'll see. And that's it. The roof good, looks good. I mean, there are no dents or anything. So that's good. It's windy, so I'm guessing your audio is going to be bad. So let's put her back in the garage and we're going to talk more about it. All right, so I told you I was going to show it inside the garage and here it is inside the garage. And it's a few days later, actually, actually like two weeks later. <laughs> Anyways, so finally uh, I can get on it because I had some other projects that I had to finish. So I don't even know where I'm going to start. We've already done the walk around, right? So I actually have audience. Oh, look at that. He's a biter. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, David came to visit and he actually is going to help me a little bit with the bonnet maybe to take it off. But that's going to be in another video. Let's finish this one here so I can post it and you can see our new Rusty Beauty that arrived just recently in the garage. So unfortunately, it's not my GT6. Unfortunately, my GT6 gets pulled to the side again because uh, that's how life is. <laughs> now you know what our next project is. The work on it starts starts like right away. And we want to see if I can fit in it. <laughs> Let's see that. <laughs> I always wanted the GT6. <laughs> Let's see if you can fit in it. Even I fit barely inside. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos of this and other Rusty Beauties. It's gonna happen. Oh, 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 oh. This is actually a whole fiberglass piece. Oh, wow. Oh my God. <laughs>